Hello, uh, my name is Dave, and I'm going to read a very short story entitled My Muse. Now, although this story was uh, updated uh, for the modern era, I actually wrote this more than a quarter century ago, not long after I got out of university, which might explain why the narrator is so immature. Uh, he does rely on the male gaze, uh, and the story itself relies on a, a punchline ending, which really isn't that popular in some literary circles. Uh, but I've chosen to read this story simply because it's funny. It should be uh, an entertaining read and uh, a good video. Oh, and I should point out, this was originally published in a uh, British online journal entitled the Short Humor Site. So, my muse. I've liked her since high school. Anita. On days when my classes were boring, I'd sit and pretend we were lovers, imagining sexy things she might say to me. In real life, she never said anything like that. Not to me. The closest we came to speaking was early in grade 9 when I said hello to her in the hallway. She just looked at me, grading me, then walked away with her nose up. Apparently I'd failed. She must have known I was attracted to her. Thirty-seven times she caught me staring from across the classroom. Once, when she caught me, her icy glare pierced through me as she mouthed the words. Nothing ever came of my attraction. Well, that's not exactly true. After graduation, I was unemployed for a long stretch of time. Two years. I spent my days practicing guitar dreaming I'd write a hit song and become famous. That part never happened. But I did write a song about Anita. A love song. Very tender and mellow. A strikingly good piece of work, I thought. Almost as beautiful as the person who inspired it. Then I got an idea. I recorded the song on my laptop. A video of me singing and playing the guitar. After several tries, I had one version, just right exactly how I'd meant it to sound. Then, I put the video on a jump drive. I had to mail it, because she'd blocked me on social media. Her reply was unexpected. An envelope arrived, two weeks later, empty, except for her grad photo. Wallet-sized. On the back, she'd scribbled, Have fun jacking off. So I wrote six more songs about her and had one published as a poem in The Atlantic. Half a million copies, they told me. That's as close to fame as I ever got. After receiving an advanced copy of the magazine, I sent it to Anita. I marked the page where my poem was printed using a post-it note. On it, I wrote, Thanks for the photo. It worked perfectly. 